This is an electroacoustic guitar by a company called Crafter. Uh, it's a rather lovely guitar uh, for many reasons, not least the inlays that have been used to, uh, to decorate it. Well, we'll start as we normally do from the, the headstock. The tuners are sealed mini tuners. Uh, they're not branded, but they look very much like Grover's uh, in their style. The tuning knobs are interesting. They are uh, kidney shaped, but of an exaggerated kidney shape. They look like uh, they look like kidney beans actually, and they're in um, they're in a brown perloid style plastic, which is rather attractive. From this angle, you'll see that the neck is made of mahogany, uh, so the headstock naturally is mahogany as well. But the front of the headstock is spaced with a veneer of rosewood, on which we have the, the crafter name and a decorative flourish there, inlaid in quite a subtle perloid. The neck has a, a nice slim profile. The depth this way is nice and slim, slimmer than you might expect on, on many acoustic guitars. Uh, it also that it possibly feels a bit slimmer because the, the fretboard is slightly wider. Uh, than most acoustic guitars, which gives you a wee bit more space uh, to, to, to get your fingering correct. So if you've got pudgy fingers, uh, this guitar is going to help you with more positive and accurate fingering. The fretboard is rosewood, but uh, the main feature of the fretboard, and indeed the main attractive feature of this guitar, is the inlay that's been put on that fretboard. Uh, there are three different colours of wood. They may be the same wood, uh, just dyed different colours. But there's a light, uh, a light wood which is used to create a mountain range. The the uh, image of a mountain range which runs most of the length of the fretboard. There's a darker brown wood which has been used to inlay two rockier outcrops, darker rocky outcrops in that mountain range, and they uh, are on the fifth and the seventh fret. Uh, so they're replacing the, the fret markings that you might normally expect if you had a, a normal guitar with dot markings. So the fifth and the seventh are marked with rocky outcrops. You've then got the ninth, the fifteenth uh, and seventeenth, which are marked with uh, stylized birds in flight over the mountain range. And the twelfth fret itself is marked with the rising sun. Uh, in a uh, in a, a red stained uh, wood. These markings are mirrored on the binding on the player's side by just little black dots. So to you, it doesn't matter what's on the fretboard; you can still find your way about with the dot markers there. Going on to the body, it's a a grand auditorium style body with a single cutaway. <coughs> Fundamentally, that is uh, sort of a dreadnoughtish shape and style and size, more importantly. Uh, the top is solid spruce and the back and sides are a nice dark rosewood. The back is treated to a decorative line down the middle. Both top and back are bound in cream and the top is finished with pinstripes around the edge. The sound hole mirrors the inlays on the fretboard. So it's a little circle of mountains with their peaks pointing inwards towards the sound hole with a, a, another rising sun coming up at the bridge end of the sound hole. Going on to the bridge itself, it's a rosewood bridge, plastic saddle, all fairly uh, standard there. It's compensated for intonation. And the strings are held in place by bridge pins. Um, they're not ordinary bridge pins. They have a little circle of abalone, which is a rainbow uh, style of... of um, of shell, mark, uh, shell inlay, and they have a little circle of that on, on their heads. So that's uh, sort of a little secret bit of luxury that, that the guitar gives to you as a gift. The, again, stylized inlays at each end of the bridge uh, complete the decoration. It's uh, electroacoustic. It's got an, an LR Bags uh, element pickup in here, and that's controlled by a panel on the top side. Now the panel has a tuner uh, included. And it's quite an interesting little tuner. It has a screen which um, is orange if you're uh, flat or sharp and it shows you with arrows which way you are and then comes up bright green if you're if when you get exactly in tune. 
for, for the particular note you're aiming for. So uh, that's quite a good visual aid, especially on a dark stage. You then have four sliders. They cut and boost sliders for bass, middle, and treble, and they'll cut four boost by 12 decibels. And then there's a, another slider, which is a scoop control, which kind of uh, middles out the sound. You've got a push button for the tuner, push button for phase, uh, to, uh, if you have any signal problems in the venue you're playing, you can always try changing the phase to see if that eradicates them. And you've got a rotary volume control. Now the size of the guitar indicates that it uh, it's can be used as an acoustic as well as an electro acoustic through an amplifier. So if we listen uh, first off to the, to the acoustic sound of the guitar. <coughs> balanced tones, uh, a very nice acoustic sound with good projection for uh, for playing uh, open mic nights or, or unamplified gigs or rehearsals. You whack it through a uh, through an amplifier. <laughs> Translates well into an amplified sound. I'll give you a little hint on the uh, of how the, the, the EQ sound. This is the bass with full boost. Full cut. This is the middle with full boost. Full cut. It's a nice scoopy noise. Uh, this is the treble with full boost. And the scoop goes from this down to this. So you can see that uh, everything there in those sliders gives you the opportunity to sculpt that that uh, that good basic voice. Um, I can't imagine that there isn't a sound that you, you, you couldn't find. Uh, if you uh, if you play around with that long enough, I should just mention that the tuner does mute the output. So it, uh, if you do need to tune during a live performance, you're not going to be annoying the man at the bar. Uh, best the crafter uh, SR Rose for you. A very beautiful, well crafted Korean made guitar. So you can be uh, very sure that the finish is uh, going to be exquisite. If you're a solo performer, a guitar like this will add something to your visual appeal uh, because of the inlays, especially if you're a virtuoso because everybody likes to see a beautiful guitar played well. So the Crafter SR Rose. <laughs> 